hello my lovelies welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel for those of you who have already seen my videos or are already subscribed in this video i went and got some dye even though there was only one color dye left and i got some wet items and i'm gonna attempt to tie dye some things um we're gonna see if it's either a fail or if I can actually make some cute stuff, you know, we're in the house. I know I'm late on the tie-dye trend. It was like two or three months ago, but I figured why not attempt it and see how I can do. And then if it comes out right, I could wear it out. But if not, I'll still wear it out. And y'all are going to come along with me and see how I did this whole process. But please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload. I upload every Thursday and Sunday if you did not know. But without further ado, let's get into the video. The items that I got to tie-dye are some boxer briefs. These are men boxer briefs but men boxer briefs on me fit like biker shorts so i got these in a size small and i got like a larger pack just in case i mess up i could do multiple all white of those then i got just a tank top thick strap tank top because i'm gonna cut it into kind of like a crop top kind of like the top that i have on now i'm gonna cut it like that and then i have just a plain oversized t-shirt is actually one of my boyfriend's white t-shirts but it fits perfect and oversized i started off by taking my dye i used the rit dye more in the color black it just took me a minute to get the cap off of the bottle I also took a hot bowl of water. This is needed. I boiled the water and then took my dye, poured it into the hot bowl. You want your water to stay as hot as possible throughout the entire process. I only poured a little bit of dye just because I wasn't sure how the color would be if I added more. And I took my half teaspoon of dish detergent and I put in two of the half teaspoons of the dish detergent and then I mixed all of those ingredients in in my bowl. The first item that I started with was the tank top and I used the crinkle method which means that I just grabbed any part of the item and just scrunched it up and just put rubber bands in certain places where I stopped scrunching and because I was going to cut the tank top into a crop top I only tie dyed the top half and then crinkled the top half so that was the only part that really had the most dye on it. I used a spray bottle. I thought this would be the easiest to put the dye in. I first tried scooping it into the bowl and almost killed myself. So then I just used the spoon to put the dye into the spray bottle. And I used the spray bottle on the stream setting so it could just be as thin as possible and I could kind of control how much dye came out of the bottle but whatever bottle that has like a smaller tip point so not a lot comes out at once you can just use that to just spray off the designated areas that you want I was just dousing all of the items in all of the dye as much as I could. It seemed like there was a lot of the top covered in a dye, but because of the technique that I use, it really didn't look like much. That's why I went and opened it to see how much of the top I actually dyed. And when I opened it, it really wasn't that much dye. So that's why I went in and scrunched up the top. It's the only the bottom portion of the top was really dyed, so I went in and re-crinkled or scrunched up the top so I could put even more dye throughout the tank top. I followed the same crinkle or scrunching method on all of the other items 
The next item that I did was the oversized tee and I just started from the top scrunching it up, still using the same dye, same amount of dye, same spray bottle, but just scrunching up the areas on the t-shirt and then I did the same thing for both pairs of shorts. This is what all of the items look like. The tank top, the top, the front and back of everything, and then both of the shorts. I'm just showing you guys how much I saturated the items. It is the next day. I let all of the tops and bottoms sit out so the dye could like seep in as much as, po as possible and set as much as possible. And then this morning I put everything in the washer wash it out cold dried it off and then now we have the final result this is one of the sets this is the oversized t-shirt and then these are the boxers these boxers did not die as much as i thought i did with the method they died more in the back than they did in the front but it's okay since the shirt is oversized it covers it up so you can see the little bit of dye at the bottom but this is outfit number one came out pretty cute it's turned out to be like a purple and then bled into a gray more than a black but it's okay because it's still like subtle and not like too much dye everywhere this is outfit number two. This is the tank top and then the boxers. These boxers died even less than the first pair of boxers. It got even less in the back. It must have been like the technique that I used. I would have needed to open them and then re-dye certain parts so they are more dyed. So they died mainly on the waistband and at the bottom, but it's okay. And then the tank top is you can see it's more of a gray than everything else is more of a purple this tank top is a polyester spandex blend while everything else is a cotton polyester blend so that's why it came out true gray but i like the gray a little bit more than the purple that bleeds into gray and i was gonna cut the tank top but i like it kind of tucked in even though i tuck in all of my shirts yeah, this is outfit number two. All in all, I think both of the outfits came out pretty okay, even though the tank top and the boxers are two different colors. I'll still make it work. I mean, it's tie-dye. It can be however. It's going to come out in different shades, different designs, patterns, what so be it. So, I mean, it was a fun project to do, and I figured since I was still inside, might as well grab some stuff and tie-dye it and show you guys my sort of a fail but i mean it was still fun while i did it but i hope you guys did enjoy this video please feel free to like comment and subscribe comment down below any video suggestions you may have or just saying hi i love to see you guys' comments and responding back to you all also hit that notification bell i post videos every thursday and sunday so I will see you guys in my next video.